Wandy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first official episode of Dr. Wandy, where we talk about you and your problems. And we all know we all have a lot of problems. By the way, I'm not a real doctor. Let's get started. Our first question of the day is... What to do if you want to avoid a certain person because they caused problems for you in the past, along with the fact that they won't change and you just want to get out of their way? Hmm. What to do if you want to avoid a certain person because they caused problems for you in the past? Wait, what's the problem? You just avoid them, no? Just, just don't talk to them no more. <laughs> I think... I think that's the solution, right? Just ignore, yeah, for real, just ignore them. You just gotta, you know, tell them that, hey, I'm not about that life and just cut them off. Listen, learning how to cut toxic people out of your life is really important. You can't always have the energy and time to have bad influences hanging around and usually people when people look at you they also look at the people around you and the people that you hang out with start to kind of define the kind of person that you are and so if you're still associating with bad people or like bad influences people are just gonna associate you with them and then it's just gonna be bad altogether so just cut off the, you know, the rotting human flesh people and just, you know, be good with, be gone. Just be good without them. <laughs> Dr. Wani, what if I'm the problem? I want a lot of people to understand that don't... Okay, I don't want to like kick you in the face with reality or something, but I'm gonna just kick you in the face with reality. But when you grow up and you become an adult and you're finished with school, you're not always going to be in your dream job. Sometimes you're gonna just be working in a job that you got hired for or that you're doing. And that's okay. Like, <laughs> I think... Like what I said before to Ramsoon is that a lot of people grow up and they think like I have to be doing something I absolutely enjoy and like everything is going to be beautiful and rainbows and butterflies and like all that stuff. But like in reality, no. Honestly, you, it's good to even just have a job, to have an income, to be able to pay rent and bills. And that's all good stuff. Like it's not bad. Like a job is a job. Money is money. <laughs> so regardless of whether you enjoy it or not, sometimes you just have to accept that it's something that you have to do. And that's okay, right? Until you maybe like you change jobs or you work in an environment and then you have opportunities to promote, grow, or other options, right? Like sometimes you get experience in one place you quit or get laid off and then you try to apply for another place maybe you learn different skills in different places and you can evolve your like job title to something else right so it's like you never know where life is going to take you until you get there and the problem is everybody's so scared to move forward because they're scared of the future but like what's the point of being scared if you're not even you can't even experience it yet like you the, you don't know what you're scared of actually you're just scared of the possibilities but like what if those possibilities are really good you know what if like you get there and like holy shit this is amazing or like this is different but it's amazing or you know there, there's just so many things that can happen and it doesn't make just pray to jesus <laughs> it's actually yeah i think it's actually way scarier to be stagnant it's it's way scarier when you realize that you're not doing anything with your life that's scarier I think it's like, oh, you know, like, what are you going to be doing in five years? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What are you going to do? In ten, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep doing whatever I'm doing. And like, if I find something I enjoy and do more of, like, I'll keep doing that. But the point is to do. Just do it. You know, you got to do some stuff. You can't sit there and be scared and not do anything. And then like, nothing's going to happen in your life. Because why? You're not doing anything. In ten years, Wendy with ten cats. <laughs> 
true. <laughs> Uh, my cats. I love cats. When he becomes a cat whisperer? No, I want to become a cat YouTuber. Cat streamer. <laughs> Passionate about cats. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Let's go on to our next question, shall we? I am a 23 year old male and I work in tech. I'm in a company that I feel like I have the opportunities to do the thing that I wanted to do, but I just don't seem to find the motivation to do it on my spare time. I always end up playing games rather than studying slash researching. Well, I think in that case, you just really have to do some self reflection and think about your priorities. Um, because here's the thing about opportunities. If you don't grab them when they're there, somebody else is going to take it. And the scariest part about that is the feeling of losing out on something you could have had, right? And then it's going to be regret. You're going to regret not taking that opportunity, not being able to get that position or like something, something mom spaghetti. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess ask yourself, is it something you really want? Is it something you really want to achieve, grasp? Or is it something you don't actually want and you're okay with that opportunity going away? I mean, I think you just have to really reflect on, you know, what you feel and what your priorities are. If you just want to play video games and your, your priority is in your happiness while playing video games, like that's fine. You don't have to take that opportunity. But if you think that, you know, maybe that opportunity is more valuable than video games, then you probably have to get cracking and do studying and researching, right? Over gaming. Or my other suggestion would maybe be like manage your time a little bit better. So let's say if you have four hours after work to play video games, maybe you should do three hours of games and one hour of studying, or maybe two hours of studying and two hours of video games. Or like, you know, split your time a little bit more effectively than spending all of it playing video games. Or maybe even give yourself a treat. Do like one hour of studying, one hour of video games, one hour of studying, one hour of video games or like one hour of studying one hour of eating delicious freaking food and then gaming and then another hour of studying you know it's just like <laughs> you just gotta split up your time you know being an adult adult is all about time management i love managing my time by staying in bed all day play games instead of eating <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty, let's move on to our next question. Wendy, I have a date today. What do I do? Uh, sorry, I just got distracted. <laughs> Weird flex. No pressure. A date. Dude, just have fun. Have fun. Give her, give him or her a smooch after, and then not an awkward smooch, okay? Like a like a good like a good juicy one, not juice, not too juicy, just a little like a little bit, and then you'll be good. Pucker up, <laughs> maybe some hand holding, maybe some hand on shoulder, maybe some hand on hip, just see you know if uh, she or he is comfortable with hands if they don't like hands try feet i'm just kidding don't i'm just i'm joking i swear <laughs> uh, okay 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 let's go to our next question shall we here we go i have tried communicating with the females i have some female friends now and now, I am more adjusted to the females. I still want to get a female girlfriend, but could not know how to obtain one. Any advice? <laughs> <laughs> the female 
just, I'm sorry. It's just that the whole thing was hella funny. Oh, that's funny. What's the, what's with the females, dude? True, I don't know. What is with the females? Uh, uh, that's a good one. I'm about to cry. If you're a female in a chat, raise your hand. I'm female. What's the going retail price of females nowadays? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see our next person. Criteria in a significant other. I've been thinking about things that I want in a significant other. I have noticed that my current crush is somewhat off from my criteria, but I still like hanging out with her and stuff, so I don't know what to do. Do I ask her out or do I just stay good friends with her? What are some things that are important in your opinion? Do you think similar interests are a good thing or are differences a better way to bond in a potential relationship? Play some Z-type if you have time. I'm sure you would be good at it. Wait, I play a lot of Z-type. I made it up to like level 30 something. I play a lot of Z-type. Anyways, um, important things in a relationship. Well, one of them, a f I, well, a few. So one of them, I think definitely would be respect. I think a lot of times people are really disrespectful to each other or can be, and that's very hurtful in relationships. So respect is really big. Um, second thing, trust. Trust is like huge, right? It's like one of those things where if you don't have it, it's make or break. If you don't trust each other, the relationship is over. Period. Crust. Pizza crust? Gotta have pizza crust in a relationship. Um, trust, respect, communication. I know these all sound really lame. They sound like freaking spelling bee words or something, but communication is huge. And it can be really hard for a lot of people. It's it's really hard to communicate your feelings effectively. <laughs> Spell trust. Trust. T-R. <laughs> Dude, I've never been in a spelling bee before, but every time I watch one, it just seems pretty funny. Can you imagine? Spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercal... S U. <laughs> you have to spell it so slowly. I feel like when you're in a spelling bee and you spell your words, it makes you question yourself because you have to say it out loud. You know, when you like write out a word and it looks weird. And when you spell it out loud, it probably seems weird in your brain too. Um, but yeah, communication. That's pretty big. Trust, communication, respect. I think... Those three things are the fundamentals of a successful relationship. And then everything on top of that would be, I don't know, interests. Um, laughing. <laughs> comedy. Fun. Excitement. Spontaneity. A lot of things, right? A lot of things... Romance. Romance can be something too. Um, I think, I mean, for a lot of people, romance is dead. And I think not a lot of the guys that I ever dated were super romantic. I think there would be like a little bit of it and then like it would just kind of die until there's like nothing left. Um, <laughs> depresso. But... <clears throat> Uh, in terms of, do you think similar interests are a good thing or differences a better way? I think similarities are great. Differences are good too. Um, you just have to be sure that your differences don't lie in fundamental morals. So like, you know, if somebody thinks, you know, Jesus is the only way to life and the other person thinks like Satan is great, like you probably won't get along in the long run. But <laughs> like if you guys go like, yeah, you know, I think, you know, I like pineapple on pizza and the other person doesn't like pineapple on pizza. That's not going to break your relationship. I mean, I hope it doesn't because if it does, I don't know. We got something else to talk about. But <laughs> but uh, generally, differences <laughs> are good. <laughs> A big red flag. <laughs> 
Differences can be good, it just depends on what the differences are. I personally think that it's pretty cool to um, meet someone who has a lot of different interests. Um, because it gives me something new to learn about. It gives me something different to understand rather than someone who does something completely similar to me, which is good and it's fine, obviously, because like you understand everything. But then at the same time, it might get kind of boring because like, oh, you know everything that they do, right? So yeah, I mean, honestly, when you jump into a relationship or you think or you're thinking about a relationship with someone, um, just try it out and see how it goes. You never really know how a relationship might turn out unless um, you try it out first, right? Unless you really think that you guys are super different and you're not going to work out at all, then probably don't try it out, right? But that's something you got to figure out for yourself. You <laughs> just get a 2D waifu. 